That would be um, matlab. That means I don't understand. I know. It's just one of the things I've picked up on in films. Is anytime, wow, a non curse word. Yeah, anytime they say matlab. <laughs> yeah, every time. Matlab, <laughs> matlab. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm a gumbo. Kushwa. Is it Kushwa or Kushwa? I think it's Kushwa. 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 Who was that? Three syllables. Kushwa. Kuchihua. Kuchi Mama. Magumbo. Kuchi Mama. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> And it, we are doing Dawn of Time 2. The King Returns. <laughs> dawn Returns Again. <laughs> dawn. The Dawn of Time. Dawn. The Second Coming. <laughs> and so is Priyanka. Hey! hey hello! <laughs> hey <-o! laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yes, obviously we're, we're s reviewing Dawn 2. If you haven't seen our review of Amitabh Bakchan's Dawn and then yep. uh, Shah Rukh Khan's, Khan's first, first Dawn, Dawn, we've done those. Those are already posted on the channel, so yep. you can go check those out if you'd like. This will be a 100% review. Obviously, you've all seen you've this. You've all seen this. Um, so you've seen it. If you haven't, what's the matter with you? you you're really Indian. Came out 2011, uh, so uh, 12, 13 years ago. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Why would that be 13 years ago? I mean, 2020. Oh, no. I thought we were 20. <laughs> it would be 11 years ago. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> regardless, a long time. Uh, Happy 2027, everybody. <laughs> directed by Farhan Akhtar, written by Farhan Akhtar, uh, and starring Shah Rukh Khan, uh, Priyanka Chopra, Roman Rani, the same cast yeah, as from before. The, the before you get him in Om here. Om Pori. Uh, Om Pori. Yep. Um, but like I said, if you haven't seen our other reviews of The Last Dawns, uh, you can go watch those. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, also, I have my Shah Rukh Khan. Hey! Uh, I have a lot of notes I'll get into when we get into the thicker thick of it. Ooh, um, love I love getting into the thick. My basic... Uh, feedback right at the top is this. I like the second half, like from the interval, I like the second half more than I like the first half. Mm. And I ultimately, I like this more than I like Don. Um, but it's got a lot of problems. <laughs> um, so if this was on and I had nothing else to watch, depending on the mood, I'd probably leave it on if mm -hmm. it was the second half. Yeah. I wouldn't revisit it necessarily. Mm. But I'm also oddly interested to see if they might do a Don 3 and take it up another notch. Because I think this is a notch above Don. Oh, I think it's 10 notches above Don. I, I, I still think there's a lot of problems with it. Yeah. No, no denying but that. But this was more enjoyable. Oh, yeah. It, cause at least, even from start to finish, it, even though I like the second half more. At least you have all the good action and, and good stuff like that in this one that you didn't have in the first one. And but, it didn't seem... As dated as the other one. This has got to be, of everything we've watched, the largest amount of the most gloriously awful white acting I've ever seen in my life. Being this the most? Because we've seen some a lot. Yeah, but... It's actually impressive. This was, oh, this was a lot. How it's, much... It's actually, Ronnie can tell you how much I was busting out laughing. It's actually impressive how often they can get bad white actors. I said... That, that's exactly what I said to Indrani at one you point. you think at one point, I mean, I guess we've had it once in Sardo Udam, but, you know, he actually paid for actors. But, like, the fact that it's always consistently awful. It's glorious. It's like, like they're going out of their way on purpose. It, yes. It used it to, it used to really annoy me because, well, it would really annoy me if, if, if it's a movie. It's like, if I was watching The Lunchbox and then some stupid white actor comes in and ruins what this glorious piece of art is. Mm -hmm. But when it's done, too, yeah. it's, it's actually... I, I laughed out loud five, six different times because not only was it bad, but most of the time they had one freaking line. They just had to deliver... Like the dude in the elevator. Oh. <laughs> Steph, Steph says, I'm so glad they kept that in. <laughs> oh. 
He had his moment. He had his moment. So anyway, that that was amazing. Yeah, I think it was um, way better than Dawn. To the, the first Shah Rukh Khan Dawn. Yeah, I, I, think en- I enjoyed it more. I think it's way w- w- much better of a film in terms just of all in, on all aspects. Um, even though it still has for a heist slash spy, this was almost like a combination of a not a not the current Bonds, but. More '90s to early 2000s bonds and oceans. And if you'd seen MI one through three, oh okay, yeah, especially MI one. I mean, there's a lot of that as well. A lot of inspirations. There's almost, almost, almost a full on rip from MI one. Oh really? Which one? The whole breaking into the vault, oh, really? literally hanging upside down and typing in the entry password. Oh really? Yeah, that's you've seen oh, yeah, clips I've of seen, it. I've seen that's no, when, I've seen Don. Well, I mean, um, yeah, that's the uh, one where Mission Impossible, where Tom comes in and he's hanging above it, and then they let him drop, and he drops to the floor, and his sweat's gonna hit them. So right. he to get in, he's hanging upside. So I was like, okay, are you gonna do everything? Or are we gonna do the sweat? Or, but thankfully, it didn't. It was just enough, just enough, and the, it feels very much. In fact, I wanted to. I know I won't forget, but that was a good time to give the shout out. One of my favorite things about this. This was a Mission Impossible level score. Mm-hmm. I thought the score, which the score is from composer that just goes by Shankar, but it's Shankar Mahadevan, who's done like Dilda Hak Nado. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we, we've he, seen breathless. My Name is Khan. Yeah, he, every, you name it. We've, we've seen a ton. I was very impressed. This was the kind of score you want for this kind of movie. Especially for the time. This is, yeah. I, even still, one of the better action films we've seen from india Second half. I, we obviously we haven't seen a, a, a ton of action films obviously we saw war and obviously that that's you can't really compare it because obviously the, the the at least an action yeah. aspect i'm talking about the um that is came out what two years ago so you <laughs> 10 years of vfx is a, a long big time uh in vfx but like we, I mean, we haven't seen a ton of action films no in our in our whole library of films we've watched uh, of no. of Indian films? No, we really haven't. S- We've oh. watched some that have action in them, like Padmavat and Bajirao have action in them, but they're yeah. not action films. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, our, our, and so obviously this year is very different because very different Indian all right. over the place <laughs> and stuff yeah. like that. But for 2011, I thought it was actually uh, quite good, and I was much more entertained in this one than I was in. in the As was I, especially Shabu again, second half. Uh, I didn't actually have a difference. I actually, I think I, the end, just what the twist. No, just no. I mean I knew there was a twist coming, but it's just, I hate it when like, "Hi, right, now this is what we did." Yeah. <laughs> this and then you know it's 10 minutes of yeah, yeah, yeah. montage, montage of of what of, happened. Uh, here's what's really happening. Like, okay, cool, yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you I you guys will always hear me gripe on ends that, So before before yeah. I jump into my the things that were beautifully wrong with the film, and I mean that they're beautifully wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like it's almost like it's an endearing quality to them in the same way that some of the earlier SRK films have cringy things in them, but mm-hmm. you wouldn't want to change it. I kind of like the flaws. Get that helicopter out of my yeah. face. <laughs> 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 let's go. Let's go down the line of performances of the actors and then the direction and then get yeah. into the weird stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, apparently, okay. So. There's two different sites I looked at. One said he did all of his own stunts. Another one said he did almost all of his own stunts. Mm-hmm. Do Do you know what's mm-hmm. the case? You guys can tell us. Yeah, like they said he did the, the fall off the top of the building. Like he was tra- he was trying to go full Tom Cruise on this. So he did the fall on the building, and that I I didn't see a stunt double anywhere. So yeah. I'm voting for the fact that SRK did his own stuff. Good, I'm glad. Yep. Yeah, I, I thought he did a, a good job in this. Me too. Edge. I still, I still think he he's a strange fit for a spy like Shah Rukh Khan. I much prefer him as the the romance guy. Yeah. Uh, just obviously, it's just I feel like his wheelhouse is at least, especially back then. We'll see it in the co- next year. Yeah. How? Because obviously, as you mature as an actor and and stuff like that, it could change. It'd be interesting to see him play, and he may have done this before, and we just haven't seen it. It'd be interesting to see him play a straight like Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible or James Bond straight spy hero guy versus in this one where he's the bad guy spy, mm-hmm. um, where he's just SRK being like a James Bond type. I 
I think that would work. Yeah, I think I think it could. I yeah. mean, we might get it next year. Who knows? I don't know what these new films have in store. But uh, I thought he looked a lot better in this one. Obviously, he was a lot more, especially sh- with the long hair. Yeah, the well, opening. They, I was me and my wife were both real sad. Right when he when cut he his cut, hair, I knew you would. <laughs> like the when minute he gets off the plane with the haircut. No, it was. I think the song started right. The oh yeah it was man it was, who it was the song the don the dawn song yeah. of the film and me and my wife were probably like oh no he yeah, cut his hair I was like oh, why cut his hair I and knew shaved his be beard yep I was so sad but hey at least he put on the rithic mask <laughs> did you see that going did you see it I, coming I didn't know it was a mask <laughs> I just thought rithic was in there but I was I didn't like know. oh is rithic gonna be the the villain right me and too he, he took it off I audibly no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is some great mass technology right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the stupid little... I did, too. I loved, I loved that. I, 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 I thought it was a, a great little addition. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, not believable at all, but, no. you know, it's fun. Yep. I enjoy fun that. Fun spy stuff. I enjoy that stuff. Right when it happened, I was like, yeah! I will he s- killed Rithic! And so, <laughs> I will say, going over to, like, to Priyanka, right? We finally got what I was expecting we would get in Dawn. We got to see her kick some ass. Yeah. And it was very believable. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Though there, The first scene they have together where they're talking, mm. gotta say, a little bit cringy there. Just, mm. just the acting stuff. I don't know what was going on, but they both weren't at their best in that scene. Uh, but the rest of the time... I really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed her. I have something to say when I get into the stuff that for me was just like, really, come on, guys, later in the film. But, I mean, I for the most part, I, I liked the fact that she was I, Roma again. I did not like the fact that they made them a love thing. No? No. Oh, okay. I was like, this, really? This person that she's wanted to kill because she killed her brother, and then she's the entire film wanted to get at Dawn, yeah. but now that Shah Rukh Khan does his... Hey, baby. And now she's all, like, wet in the pants. Bad boy complex. <laughs> it's the bad boy complex. Like, it's like, really? Like, that's... Women are so stupid. They just get so horny and forget everything they want to do. So so what happened with that? Was that Farhan's idea? <laughs> I or, don't know what it is. Or did, did, SRK, no did SRK say, okay, I want Priyanka in this, and her character needs to fall in love with me? Maybe it's just, you, if you're in a Shah Rukh Khan film, you have to have somebody fall in love with you, because you're Shah Rukh Khan, and somebody's going to fall in love with you, of course. But, but that Shabu didn't Khan. really happen in Dawn. Well, this is a completely different thing. Obviously. Yeah, I know. This is its own thing, and yeah. which is fine. Um, I also, how did she become a, a like a detective real fast? You don't need to know that. Okay. <laughs> don't ask so many questions, Corbin. <laughs> All you need to know is that she decided to work for Interpol. <laughs> right when I said I was like... I know. Wait, what? <laughs> you know what? why? You know why? Because Priyanka knew... And four or five years later, she'd be needed for Quantico. So she needed to have that uh, kind of thing on her resume. Yes, of course. For the- <laughs> it was just confusing. It I was, was like- very strange. I'm like, oh, Roma works for Interpol. Do we know why? Shh, don't ask questions. Don't look. <laughs> just the movie started. Shut up. If we missed it, I don't. I'm you sorry. You did. It's a five year lapse. A lot happens in five years, Corbin. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. See, it's a five year period. He's in but Malaysia for five years. I thought she did well well in her role. She did uh, fine. And uh, I thought I, she had much better action scenes this time. No, yes. Nothing to the level of like Agentina, which, you know. No. We're always or even for. the first original Roma in Don. She's the queen of that oh, thing, man. I still want an Agentina film. Come on. I can't wait. It's a, that's a franchise, people. <laughs> It is. <sighs> it is. <laughs> and her, like, the, the anti-heroes. The, the post is going to be like forks. Yes. <laughs> Fork the bad guys. <laughs> it's the best idea. Please do it. So, yeah. I I, I thought this one, in terms of having um, pacing throughout the film, was much, much better. Especially it, the second half. Uh, and I'm, maybe it's um, just the fact that I didn't know what was coming, obviously. And he, I love that. I, I, yeah, I love that they could just do whatever they wanted. Yeah, to do so it was, it was obviously Farhan was much more free to yeah. just kind of do what he felt the story wanted. And I thought his direction was uh, everything in this was better than the first one in terms of I felt like you could feel the freedom he had mm-hmm. with with his DOP as well. Like really great car chases, really great stunt sequences. Hot, I, I put down great stunt work. A lot more money was really yeah. This. Really good job by the f- whole stunt team in this. Uh, one of the better things we've seen was with, with, with stunt work, and uh, I you could tell like if I was making a film and somebody said, "Hey, you you need." a director who can do like a Mission Impossible style film and they showed me this as part of like his reel, I'd be like, dang, yes. 
he can he can direct a spy thriller. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. One hundred percent. And it still had some of obviously the dated kind of stuff. No, nothing like. Yeah. Should the, we get into the last one? Should we get into the? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. What, what we want to talk about? So, uh, first of all, the prison that they're in at the beginning, uh, uh, Bowman and SRK has the worst security oh, on yeah. earth. <laughs> so fights are unstopped. Weapons come in unchecked and you don't watch the cooking staff so they can easily slip poisons into the food. It is the wor- whoever that prison, if it exists, it needs to have a complete overhaul. <laughs> it was beyond ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we, I think I've, we both said it. their security is not. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's also it's really funny to watch SRK lean in for a kiss. Because you know it's never going to happen. He almost did, He though. almost did. And yeah, I'm like, I no. Like, ah! I know it's not going to happen. I, I still want to see that film. Which, which one is the film that he actually does kiss somebody? What? There, Shut the front door. No, there is one. No. Do you know How did that one? happen? What's the... She's, he's saying there's a film where SRK smooches. I think it's not one of his more popular Not ones, a kiss though. on the neck? Lip the lip? Yeah. Yeah, it's a <gasps> kiss on the lip. Who'd he kiss? I don't know. I can't remember. Wow. I, yeah. Uh, I, I love that he loves Tom and Jerry. I love that. <laughs> I love that Don loves Tom and Jerry and they brought that back. <laughs> I also want to know, how did Don get use of a huge stadium for his secret criminal meeting? He's Shabu Khan. He owns it. Oh, that's right. It was the Knights Stadium. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, and then I wrote again, oh no, more white people. <laughs> yes. So both of these guys are wanted by Interpol. How would they not be recognized at this high of a level financial institution? I don't know. When, they, when Bowman came in, no questions asked. None, none at all. Uh, nice stunt work. Uh, and if if you had to watch... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this part. First of all, I don't know if you all know, but if you were shot anywhere on your body that can cause severe bleeding, you've got three minutes, five max before you're dead and you bleed out. Priyanka would be dead. <laughs> She'd be dead. <laughs> Getting, I thought she was. I thought she was, too. The fact that she wasn't dead, I was like, really, guys, come on. She was dead. Well, but here's the thing: the, the, they didn't even check. Shower College was just like, she's not dead. Of course. Well, Don knows. But here's what I want to know: Why the heck? If 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 he could blow the room up with his watch at any given moment, why didn't he do it before they shot her? When they were doing the countdown and saying, you need to shoot him or we're shooting you, he's here like this, and then he says, oh, put the gun up here. Why didn't he just do what he did 60 seconds later when his hands are behind his head and he goes, ching, ching, he let them shoot her. He doesn't love her, clearly. (laughs) Not okay. That does not make Priyanka happy. (laughs) And when Priyanka's not happy, everybody's not happy. Uh, It's funny. (laughs) But... I actually, for as annoying as those things are, this is one of those movies that is given permission to to have those kind of flaws. Oh yeah, I I don't like it. I don't. Most Shah Rukh Khan films, unless I'm told in the beginning, this is right. Swadesh like you're going into Swadesh or, or, or My whatever. Name Is Khan. Right. I'll give it a little more leeway. Absolutely. And obviously, this was um, an old Bollywood action film, and so I was like, I'm clear, there's clearly going to be some stuff that probably is going <laughs> to go on here. Yep. That and so my bar. Even though the second bar was higher than the first bar because I just heard more about yeah, it, yeah, I still I think it lived up to it, and I would watch this one again. Just like if it was on, I'd I be would like, too. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, I would this too. Will, I'll have a good time uh, in this one. But yeah, it met my expectations. It's not without its flaws for sure, hundred percent. Um, and it's, <laughs> I still think, it. If it was done today, it probably it would probably be a, a much better film just because of our technology nowadays and. I think the amount of money that people will put into an action film now. Yeah. And I think fight choreography is better. I think. And story. Story's better. Yep. Story's better. Um, all that. I thought Bowman. Thank you. I was just about to mention him. Um, I thought he did well. I actually thought he did better than the first one. Really? Yeah. I, 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 liked, thought, yeah. I liked him as equally as I did in the, the, uh, yeah. in the first one. Yeah. I just, uh, there was a moment. It's right around the time that they're going to shoot him, which again, I love the. You have every opportunity to just shoot him in the head right now, but you need to talk to him for a very long time. Well, that's first. not something that's um, specific to Bollywood. No, that's of that. course. I know. Hollywood's it, Hollywood that for does it too. Millennia. But there was a moment when he was doing that, and I thought, you know what? <sighs> Bowman is just freaking solid all the time. All. None three the, idiots. T- yes. See, I'm telling you, revisit it. Mm-hmm. 
revisit it, especially now that you've seen him serious so many times. Mm. Yeah. What was it about that that annoyed you so much? Because I loved that character. Mostly the performance. Oh, I love I that character. I did not like it. I love that character. I at all. Um, I thought the, all the supporting people were fine. Uh, well, not, well, not the white actors, but they, I'm, talking, no, I'm talking the other ones. But they were beautifully horrendous. <laughs> Just, I mean... I, I laughed out loud. I thought five or six times. I thought a lot of the action in the in the film was actually really convincing. Like it was. In terms of, I think it was practical, um, explosive practical effects most of the time, uh, as Agreed. opposed to the VFX. Yep, uh, which I like better because it, it looks better on camera. And very good cinematography on the one on one hand to hand combat, mm-hmm. and good sound, really good sound quality. Uh, there were some moments I recognized even ambient noise that they added was really well selected and put together. And I bet if I didn't have so much that I was thinking about and going through, film editing was probably pretty darn solid too. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was actually a... a, a, The technical sides of things was pretty darn good. Yeah, if if the... uh, The the Don Juan, Shah Rukh Khan's Don Juan was like a a zero. It wasn't, but... This is a hundred points above that one <laughs> in terms of overall filmmaking. Yeah, it's a much better like, movie. It's a much overall. better film. Agreed. Uh, and a much more entertaining film. Agreed. Uh, which is what I want from a spy espionage heist-ish film, right? Yep, yep. Because, uh, I mean, I've seen Ocean's Eleven. I've seen the first Mission Impossible. I don't I don't love any of those films. I think they're fine. They're enter- I love the MI. Enter- I love the Mission films. Impossible series. Obviously, I've only yeah. seen first MI, so yeah. it's not like I'm... I'm, I'm up, telling you, up to snuff I, on them. I believe if you watched all of the Mission Impossibles except two, just avoid it with like the plague. Um, I believe you would not only like that's the series. Up, that? No, that's okay. MI three. Oh, okay, yeah, that's spectacular. Yeah. So uh, I, I believe you would not only really like. I like it as much as I like the James Bond franchise, and that's saying a lot. Mm. And it also, I mean, it would not surprise me if you got a little bit of a higher opinion of Tom Cruise. No. No. Absolutely yeah. no. Um, uh, in terms of ranking them, I this is the one that's the most entertaining. Unless you're going for, if you like, if you want action, of course. But if you just want laughs, obviously you're going to the first Don. Uh, the original oh, Big yeah. Don. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're using all three now. Yes. Right? If you're, if you're ranking all three, but it's, it's hard to, because the first Don and this Don... They're two very different films. <laughs> yeah. It's, you can't be like, oh, I want to watch some hilarious 70s comedy, Spy, and then I also want to watch some uh, hardcore action yeah. espionage films. They're, I don't, there's, they have the same name. Nothing else. You know, they got Dawn and Roma, and it, they're not even... You can compare, obviously, the remake. Oh, yeah. But Dawn 2 is its own movie. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you're comparing both... Single Dawns. I like Amitabh. Amitabh's by a long shot. A long shot better yep. film yep. for me. 100%. Uh, like, I don't know if it's a better film because there's a lot of flaws in that film, but it was a much more fun, entertaining film. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> in that film. Yep. This one, I mean, if you're in the mood for an action film, like, I, it's hard because obviously R is amazing, right? But it's like, that's a completely different animal, I feel. Like, oh, I mean, it's a very different animal. How many spy films have we seen? Two? From India? India? Two? War? This? We have War. We have these two Dons, so that's three. I'm thinking about... Would you... Well, well we've I, had TV. Well, actually, A lot sorry. of TV. We just had Vikram. Yeah. Vikram. Is Karthi? I don't know if you can... Does Love Hostel count? I mean, it kind of... It's more of a thriller, I guess. Yeah, and so does... I mean, there's a couple of things that have it in it, like Article 15 is... Mm. It's not an action spy thriller. So you're talking like the specific spy thriller genre. I don't know that we've seen very many at all. I think you can count them on one hand. Probably. Yeah. Um, and I think the best ones are probably the ones that came out this year. Now, Vikram and... Doesn't to whom fall into that category? <laughs> yes. To whom does. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever get to domes. <laughs> I'm scared of domes. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> what but, about what? No, does does Krish fall into that category? Krish does. As yeah, well. yes. yeah. And, and that there's, does. but there's reasons we haven't watched those yet, isn't there? We we've just we've been got, a little, we a little just, wary. Just haven't gotten to them yet. <laughs> we've been a little. 
a little shy of those. Well, I think let's I watch thi- Kalonk. I think if we if we ever get to those, which I don't know if we will, we'll have to see. But we have to go in the same way that we go into a Shah Rukh Khan spy film. Yeah, like, this is just. And what about the spy film? This is just for entertainment. What about the spy film with? Uh, uh, isn't it Mahan? Is it Mahan? No, it's Rajnikanth. With all the guns and and the that's and the two point yeah, I think yeah that's right that's that's what it's called right yeah there. with with Ashwarya the that was two point oh right Ro- robot you're talking about robot no I, I don't it was know two point oh what it, what's the movie that has um Rajnikanth. Rajnikanth and and Ashwarya Rai and Rajnikanth at one point he's got the glasses on and he gets all of these machine guns that come out out of him because he's a robot. <laughs> it's called robot is it called it's robot called I thought robot? It, I thought it was called two I want to see that. <laughs> I heard it wasn't great, though. I think it's the most expensive Indian film ever, though, in terms of really uh, how much it cost. How much did it make? I don't know. Oh. I, I don't think it made. So, what do you guys think we should watch as far as like a, the next of a, a spy well, thriller, I, Mission Impossible, James Bond? There are ones like um, uh, Akshay has airlift and yeah. What happened to baby? airlift? Is it baby? Is it called baby? I think no. Akshay, like a, a spy thriller. I think those. It's called. There's one that's called for him. It's called Airlift, and I think the other one's. I called, remember the trailer I for think, Airlift. I think the other one's called Baby. Um, obviously, Salmon has a couple, I guess. Uh, but I think not crime thriller, spy. No, because I think he Salmon is it Sultan. Sultan. I, Sultan. I don't know. I don't know which one's the spy. I'm just thinking of stuff on the top of my head that I know I, that I think is spy, but oh. may, maybe it's not that. Does Mr. India count as a spy one? Because I think it does. I guess it kind of does. It gets yeah. very James Bondy. It kind of that, does. That's in there. Um, but but then there's also South remix of Dawn as well. Well, well, well. I think Rajnikanth plays Dawn. What the freaking circus net? Yeah. Really? I think so. I think it's Bila or something like that. So... Why won't? Why don't we watch that next? Maybe we will. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how good it is. Okay, do we have access to it? Probably. Oh my goodness! I want to see that. But what if it's the exact same story as Dawn? I'd like to see how they do it down there, <laughs> and see if it's a remake of Dawn. Compare it to the SRK remake and see who came out the head on the remake. It's probably B. It's probably well, B. that's the original. Superstar. Yep. I think we're about to get some a, a lot of really good spy stuff, though. We are. We're going to get MI7, I guess, no, next, next summer. In India. Yep. Uh, Wait, why? What do you know about coming out? Well, Pathan, which is Shah Rukh Khan. That's a spy. Yeah. And then... Brahmastra. That's a big spy movie. Big spy movie. Anyways. <gasps> You're done listening to us. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next Shah Rukh Khan film? There's only ten more left. Yep, that's it. And then we're done with the whole SRK library. That's a lie. Uh, but anyways, let us know what should be the next Shah Rukh Khan film we should watch down below.